Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back. I heard somebody said they wanted an encore. Me too. So like last week, what's better than tacos on Tuesday? Taco Thursday. So today we got this awesome recipe, which is fish tacos. But we're gonna spice it up a little bit. We're gonna top it with some Granny Smith apple coleslaw and some of our famous sriracha aioli. Sit back, relax, and welcome to the bistro. You all on my lane, you all on my lane, you ain't overlooked, so get out the way. I gave you the book, I gave you the game. The boy gotta cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like you mean no. Plenty bitchin' whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a seed no. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. So welcome back. All right, today we got our fish tacos again. So like I said, this is an encore. Week number two, fish tacos. We had shrimp tacos last week. This week we got French fish tacos. So um, now, now this is gonna be the problem here. So the type of fish you use, it's up to you. I prefer using white fish. Um, any case, I would probably would've used um, cod, but for this channel, I want to use things that you guys are familiar with. And I know a lot of my followers um, are going to be familiar with like tilapia and, and such. Uh, a lot of people don't like tilapia and don't, don't want to eat it. And um, I understand those reasons. But I'm using something that most people have access to, you know, especially during this quarantine. Um, and especially um, in, in our supermarkets. So I know without a shadow of a doubt that a lot of people have access to this fish here and they use this fish on the regular. So I'm gonna use this fish, but if you disagree with me using this fish, just use your white f uh, fish of preference. Like I said, I'll probably use cod, but for this channel, I want to use things that my viewers will be familiar with, more familiar with. So that's why I'm using tilapia. Also, um, it's very pocket friendly as well. So um, in these times, man, you gotta make every dollar count. So let's go back. So we use it, we got the tilapia here. And what I'm doing for the fish taco is, I'm just cutting the filet in half. So you already got a guideline there. So you just follow that guideline, just cut it in half. So got one more here, let's do it again. The guideline there just take it cut it in half so we got all our fillets cut in half and the next step we're going to do is we're going to season it with some salt and pepper now i use this hand to cut with and i use this hand to touch the fish with so i'm gonna season with this hand so going with some salt And we're gonna use our seasoned flour, so always be mindful of how much seasoning we're putting on. And we're gonna let this marinate in the buttermilk for about maybe 20, 30 minutes. And we're going with our buttermilk. It's good there. So we'll take our fish hand, and then we'll go in here and just massage them. Make sure everything is covered. Then we'll pop a lid on that, pop it in the fridge for maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll be back. Um, we're gonna clean up this here mess, and then when we come back, we're gonna make our Granny Smith's apple coleslaw. So. so what you see me doing now is slicing the apple. Um, skin on is perfectly fine. Um, I, I usually use the skin on with this recipe. And so you're gonna see me slice each section of the apple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and julienne them. In front of julienne, I'm gonna go ahead and dice them. And then also you'll see me um, just cutting the cilantro up. 
um, cut the cilantro how you want to cut it. Um, I usually just um, chop mine uh, really fine for this recipe. Now, we got all our components here for our coleslaw, our granny apple smith coleslaw. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our cabbage, and you can use any cabbage you wanna use. You can use julienne, I just prefer to use diced in this application. But if you prefer julienne, it's pretty much your choice. So let's go on with our cabbage. You can grate your own cabbage if you want. You can buy store-bought cabbage, up to you. Then we're going with our cilantro. And these are like, like Fiesta tacos. So you want that a little splash of um, cilantro in there as well. I don't really like cilantro myself, but I feel like in this application, it's really good. So then next up, we're going with our Granny Smith apples. And then the last step, ranch dressing. That's gonna be our dressing. You can use your favorite ranch of choice. Um, I know it's plenty, plenty, plenty uh, options out there. Use your favorite one of choice. Um, I got my favorite here and I'm gonna use it. You can even make your own um, buttermilk ranch dressing. It's completely up to you. So this recipe is almost like a guideline, but you pretty much finalize it. So we're going with our ranch. And with the ranch, it's just going a little at a time because as it macerates, you know, the cabbage is gonna make its own dressing. And also we're gonna do a splash of lime in there as well. Just the lime we put on the apples, just splash the rest of it in there. Like I said, these are gonna be like Fiesta tacos. So you want that, that extra acid in there and just give that, that fantastic kick and flavor. It smells so incredible. I wish you guys were here to smell this. Something as simple as some Fiesta, Granny Smith, Apple Coleslaw, and just the, the flavors it give you. I feel like we in Baja right now, or, or, or Fiji, or Cancun with these fish tacos. Look at that amazing slaw. So we'll get this in the fridge, let it macerate, then we'll begin to fry fish. Now, for breading the fish, like I said, we're gonna use our seasoned flour, but when you bread in anything, you wanna have a wet hand and a dry hand. So let me show y'all a little technique so you won't have to keep going to wash your hands. You know, you got a wet hand, you got a dry hand. So with our wet hand, we're gonna reach in with the fish. Dry hand, we're gonna bread the fish. And you make a little mess, it's okay. Ain't nothing to paper towel, can't help. So, brush off the excess. Wet hand, dry hand. So, just a little, a little tip for you guys. So I'm gonna get all these breaded up and then we'll be ready to fry them up. Now you wanna fry your fish until it's a delicious golden brown color. Kinda like this color you see right here. And then you wanna put it on a wire rack if you have one over a paper towel just to blot the rest of that excess um, oil off of it. Then you see me go ahead and plate in the fish tacos. Um, I usually put the fish at the bottom, but you could put the slaw at the bottom. It's really your choice when it comes to um, how you wanna present it. But I usually put the fish at the bottom put the slaw on the top, and then go over with some of that amazing sriracha aioli. Um, I just don't like the sriracha aioli to directly touch the fish, even though the slaw is um, kind of wet as well. Uh, it just keeps that fish uh, a little more crispy for me. But um, as you can see, those amazing Fiesta tacos, hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. Baja fish tacos with Granny Smith apple coleslaw and that delicious sriracha aioli we made for the Bang Bang Shrimp. And that's what cooking all about. Being versatile, using things you already have. And I know 
I don't have my glasses on, it got kind of hot in the kitchen. But being versatile, being able to use ingredients that you already have and recreate them and make something else, that's what cooking's all about. But man, these fish tacos look absolutely amazing. So, you know, I got to do it. Sorry guys, but if you can smell this, smell a TV, uh, smell a computer screen. You smell how incredible these smell. But, you know, I, I, I'ma do it for you guys too. So I'ma go in for the big bite. Let's get this this middle one here. I'm sorry if I hit the mic. But off wham, flour, flavors it just hit me. We got that lime. We got that beautiful cilantro, that granny apple snuff apple, that tartness, that sweetness from the sriracha aioli, that little heat. These are absolutely incredible. If you're trying to impress somebody and it's Tuesday or Thursday, preferably Thursday, make these fish tacos for them and tell them this from, this from old Cornelius here. But you'll blow their socks off. I'm telling you, these are absolutely amazing. You only find recipes like this at one place, and that's here, the Bistro Cooking Show. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and like, comment on this video. Let me know suggestions of things to cook, or uh, just let me know how I did in this video. And like always, always, I want to thank you guys for always accepting invitation into my world, my house, my kitchen. Until next time.